I've shot some still frame time lapse with a GoPro where we took one frame every six seconds in intervals and I want to turn that into a time lapse video. So what I'm going to do first is I've got my uh, Adobe Premiere project open here and I'm going to come over here to the clips window, right click and go import and I've selected from my desktop, this is the, the GoPro folder where all of my time lapse images uh, live. So I'm going to import that. Now later I'll be mixing some video that I shot that same day with this time lapse into like an edited piece. So what I want to do is create a new sequence to work with our time lapse footage in. And my, my video that I shot is DSLR 1080p at 24 frames. So I'm going to do this uh, GoPro time lapse in the same type of format so that when I mix them later, there's not as much rendering. Now, if you're not planning on mixing yours with anything, then just make it whatever format uh, you desire. If you want 720p, um, you can make that. Uh, if you shot other stuff and you're going to do what I am doing but your format's different than mine, then choose a format that works best for you. Um, but I'll show you how to scale it to any format that you'll choose. So I've got my 24p timeline here and now what I'm going to do is come to my clips window again here and select my very first image and hold shift and select my very last image and I'm going to drag those into my timeline. So now I've got a timeline of my entire time lapse, and it's 45 minutes long. Well, that's not cool. We want this thing to be about 5 seconds long, or 15 seconds, whatever, but much, much shorter than what we've got it. So these are all still frames, and uh, the first thing that I'm noticing here is it's scaled it uh, to fit the window. It's zoomed it way in. So what I want to do is come to my very first clip very first still frame, double click it and come to effects controls and open up motion and you can see if you go to the scale it's at a hundred percent if you scale it down you can see there's a lot more image there and that's the image that we shot. Um, so I want to position this uh, you can see it's a 4x3 image I want to position this appropriately in my 16x9 window so what I'm going to do is just scale this so that the sides first match. So those are lining up pretty nice right around there. There's no black. And then I come over here to my position on the right and you can slide it to the left and we'll get some of that headroom out uh, because the main focus is that lit up table. So I'm just toggling this over and there's a little black so we're going to come back a little bit that looks like pretty good positioning to me but that's only the first clip we've got these other several hundred clips that need to be positioned exactly the same or else it's going to be real jumpy you know we don't want that so the quickest way to handle that is to actually just select this clip again and go copy and then we're going to select the clip directly to the right of that and every other clip to the right of that. So I'm zooming out and just selecting all those. And then when I zoom back in, you can see that they're all highlighted. And what I'm going to do is just come over this clip and right click. And you can see paste attributes. And what it's going to do is paste all of that motion stuff we just did. So once that's pasted, now you can see all these clips are zoomed out and it looks like the same shot. So that just saved us millions of hours. Now the very next thing we need to do is you can see that each one of these still frames is five seconds long. Uh, we don't want that. So what we need to do is select all of the clips. So now we've just selected everything and we want to turn these all into uh, we'll say a frame a piece because when you take hundreds of these at 24 frames a second you know you'll get you know several seconds of fast uh, interval time-lapse footage so I'm gonna right click now that they're all selected and go to speed duration and you can see 
that the duration is five seconds. We want it to be zero one. That's one frame. I'm going to show you that again. So speed duration, click duration, zero one. Now before I hit enter, you could see when I hit enter, it left a bunch of gaps in there last time. So each one would be a frame and then there'd be five seconds before the next one and gaps and you'd have to delete all those gaps. But if you simply check this box, it'll push everything together. It's an important step. So check that box and now you can see that it's taken everything all of those clips made them all one frame apiece and instead of a 45 minute piece we have a 19 second time lapse so now I'm gonna render this and when it's finished rendering you'll see here that it's a nice steady time lapse of over two to three hours um, condensed down into like 15 20 seconds here and it looks much better this way um, and it's easy quite easy so if you have any questions feel free to uh, write those in the comments box below thanks a lot